In this Road to Max episode, we're facing floor 7 in the dungeons, taking on Hypixel's strongest bosses, the four withers known as Maxor, Storm, Goldor, and Necron. But before we can get into that, we need to prepare. In the last episode, we had trouble getting up to the crystals in the Maxor phase. I've looked through a lot of guides, and I've been rather stingy about being in the mindset of proving my own worth by only doing solo runs and clearing a floor before I took on the floor with other players. It's a hurdle that I'll need to get over and try to learn from other people that will likely perform much better in the public lobbies. Spoiler alert, not really. I started off by collecting resources from my unpaid interns and leveled my leather collection to 10, finally maxing it out. I upgraded a lot of my backpacks to hold more items as it will become very useful later down the line. With that out of the way, I hopped into a floor seven run where I learned that there's a parkour that can be done to reach the crystals but in all honesty, this parkour is way too long to be a viable option. We eventually got the crystals down and enraged Maxor, just to rinse and repeat, taking that terrible parkour and luring Maxor back into the laser, killing him. This allowed us to progress to phase two, which hosts the Wither named Storm. Now I knew we had to crush Storm under these pillars by activating the same colored platform nearby. While my teammate lured it, I full sent it and nailed my first try. We tried luring again and the countdown for Storm's Giga Lightning started counting down so we both took safe cover under one of the pillars. Wait, does that count as a clear? That it did not. This is about the time I uploaded my last video where I built Leonardo da Vinci's The Last Supper and took the crown as the pixel art king. I recommend giving that video a watch, so stick around to the end and I'll have it linked. While you're there, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as it really helps the channel grow. Anyways, after all that time I spent, I needed to go touch some grass, so the wife and I went on a dinner date and had a good day fishing at the lake. The next day I hopped on, got Enchanting 30, collected the work my unpaid interns did, leveling up a bunch of collections, and getting Skyblock level 116. I went on a Slayer grind, getting my Spider Slayer up to level 4, along with Skyblock to level 117. And Spider Slayer 5, which I didn't get on video. Combat leveled up to 31 though, which put my Skyblock level to 118, then Spider Slayer 6, and when I claimed the rewards for it, Skyblock level 119. I went back to the dungeons where the party just really couldn't hash out Floor 7, tried again where we got first hit on Maxor, then failed, tried again where I got absolutely destroyed by the Frozen Adventurer, and the party quit early on. I didn't stop there though. This party seems promising. Man, nobody's serious about this. be support these guys know what they're doing so these guys do know what they're doing that's freaking awesome I think, oh my god, this is the furthest I've gotten. Is he done? Is he dead? <gasps> okay, it's done here. Yep, oh, that's not good. That's definitely not good. Yo! Oh, that's getting scary close. Is that gold ore? <sighs> Bro, that is gold ore! Oh my lord. I can do this, I can do this. What? 
terminal. No, that's active. That means it was done. <laughs> There's a terminal up there. I can at least hit him. I think I can slow him down. I don't get up there. Is this is this rip? This is it. <laughs> I called it there and decided to sit back, watch some movies, and do some farming where I crafted the Fermento artifact and leveled carpentry up to 32. I spent over 4,000 copper and made a lot of upgrades to the composter, and then I crafted the highest level of the Touring Sugarcane Hoe, and a while later, I got to level 50 when I hopped back to my island and had an unexpected visitor. Allow me to introduce to you Senior Cosmo, the chat of this episode and the Endgame Dungeoneer. He's been subscribed to the channel for a while, and he's offered to lend a hand in the past back when I was in my solo-only mindset. This encounter couldn't have been more perfectly timed. We jumped into a dungeon where he taught me a thing or two about higher level tactics using master mode floors, and then we hopped in a call on Discord. Hello. Hello, how are you doing today? I'm good. Nice to finally talk to you. Nice to talk to you too. So, um, we are going to try out floor seven, see if we can actually get through it with my noob self. <laughs> the floor is a breeze once you get used to it. So I've heard. Yeah, I've had a lot of trouble with the first few phases. <laughs> <laughs> I would say Goldar is the hardest. Because uh, right after that phase, it's just straight DPS. Uh, I won't do crazy damage to the boss, so you can have some fun fighting the boss, too. <laughs> Alright, if you're ready to go, I'll go and queue us into floor 7. I am uh, ready to go. Hell yeah, I think we're ready. I've got a 303. Yep. You ready? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Let me switch to a baby yeti and grab this one. I'll clear out mobs since my biggest issue is getting up there. Let me, let me steal the aggro if I can. Oh good, I know how to lure him back there. Oh yeah. Is he ready to put him in the crystal? Yeah, I'm ready as soon- oh, there we go. Come on, big- oh. Steal the aggro. This might help you a little bit. A liner held together. Yeah, oh, I fell back. You. There you go. Okay, this one's not too hard at all. Yeah, just kill the mobs. Oh my god, this archers are crazy. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's nothing I can <laughs> <Fine>. do. <laughs> I'll revive you now. Here you go. Oh shit, you don't got to. Oh, yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> well, right, I'm immediately into the freaking lava. Look at your seconds of immunity when you spawn in, at least. Yep. I'm gonna do this one. This terminal takes a while to do, so... Gotcha. Wow, he is, he is so much slower. <laughs> Faster in master mode? Yeah. God bless, dude. <laughs> but also, in master mode, everybody has an assigned terminal to do based on your... What's it called? Uh, your class. Like, berserkers always do the fourth terminal. I mean, they do the third terminal. You're a god. <laughs> this was the furthest I ever got in my last run. <laughs> this part, uh, it makes it so much easier. I got this one. Once you, yeah, I got that one. <laughs> that one. It will tell you if it's not grabbed. I don't know where my boots are. Oh. <laughs> Find them in a second. Yeah, bad line client highlights the ones that aren't done. Like that one, I have no idea how to get up there. Just bounce in the lava and land on the bones right here. It's okay. just high enough. <laughs> oh, that's not high Hang enough. On. I'm dead. Oh, I'm not going to try that one, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go up. Bow shots also slow him down. I'll hit him with bow shots. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, we'll have like no. cracked stone on top of it. Like, <laughs> I got another rod for you. There you go. Uh, there's a terminal underneath me. Uh, try to get that one. Got it. It's an easy one. There we go. These are done. Just gotta get the bonus. <laughs> You're a god, dude. Oh, so we gotta like. Oh no. So That's fine. Let's get that one. Oh, <laughs> here. Got a lot to learn. <laughs> well, don't worry. This you're probably gonna play oh, no. this for a while. Uh oh. Yeah, start shooting him with your bow. Oh. <laughs> don't get too close to him. He will kill you really fast. Gotcha. This fight. Oh my god. Here. It's almost more knife gotcha. handle. Yeah, I'm good. I'm about to go down. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Wait, we killed him? Yep. Holy I hit him. You. I hit him twice you. for ya. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. This door is gonna open in a second, and if we don't go down, the next phase will not start. Why is he not doing anything? Might have to go down. Oh, yeah, I might. Oh. oh, there you go. Oh, it says it's your first time doing it. Oh my, what is going on? Like, I'm being held in <laughs> What the heck? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> so the floor underneath us is gonna drop and try to go to your left side there. Roger. I forgot, oh, since this is your first time doing this floor, uh, you have special dialogue whenever you do it. Yep. So, <laughs> do we just like, the DP is this just the DPS? Fun. Just, just DPS. Do damage. Oop. I'll Much see if damage. I can lava jump over there. Or does, is this lava down here insta kill? It's not insta kill. Okay. Here, I'll shoot. I'll hit him with a. We'll, we'll, we'll not do damage this one. Uh oh. Okay, it did damage. Um. Oh, <laughs> right as I got over. Okay, that one hurts. Okay. Do we just get up <laughs> close and shoot him and, and DPS him? Yep. You can. Ah, uh, the. You can DPS him now. Yep. You see that red thing around him? Yep. Don't get oh, too no. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> no. I'll just sorry, finish man. it up. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> just hit him normally. Yeah. Should fall over in a second. There you go. Your first clear this floor. Now you can actually use the armor that's from this floor. Holy crap, <laughs> dude. <laughs> You're a freaking legend. What's a, a wither catalyst? Uh, it is pro. It usually is profit. Wither boots. Yeah. Wither catalyst. You need eight of those to like make a Hyperion, right? You need twenty-four. Twenty-four. Let's see what. I'm getting my first wither catalyst. <laughs> <laughs> This marks the official completion of Floor Seven. Even though I embarrassed myself from death after death. I'm glad to have learned as much as I did. We hung out for a bit after, chatting about this and that, and he helped me with a few tips that I noted for later, and with his knowledge, I upgraded my adaptive belt with scarf fragments, and then put my first five stars on it. We talked about different ways of progression, and a bit of shop talk to steer dungeoneering, slayer, and combat progression down a good path for a while before we said our goodbyes. My next goal is to get better armor, namely the Necron set, and maybe even a better weapon, but that will come in its own time. To do that, I'll need to make enough to buy it for myself, which will take me right back to our roots. Right where we started in episode 1. The money cow, I mean garden. Thanks for making it to this point in the video. I think you should go watch this video where I took inspiration from the squid kid and built a massive portrait of the Last Supper. And before the outro, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye